Hi, and thanks for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy, and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, just about anywhere we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Today's video is going to be what sold for June 25th through July 1st. Let's get started. All of the sales for this week are from eBay. We have lots of stuff listed on other platforms and I've made a few sales here and there, but sales are just not moving that much on other platforms for some reason. We do need to cross post more items, that's for sure. So the first item that we sold was a Banana Republic blush sleeveless boucle fringe tank top. It sold for $17.98 and we had gotten that at a thrift store for $2.71. It sold on offer to buyer. Next up was a Pro Light Supernova Black Diamond Series Pickleball Paddle. We had heard that pickleball paddles sell really well from Harry Tornado actually. And so when we saw these, we picked them up and he was right. They like immediately flew off our shelf. We picked up two and we sold both of them. Both of them are in this video. So they both sold within a week. This was the more expensive of the two. We had read in the title because it had been re-gripped. And so that was what that was all about. But we paid $3 for this and this one sold for $55 even on best offer. Next up was a new in package book on tape. Actually, it was book on CD, an audiobook called Sweet Talk by Julie Garwood. We had gotten this in the Goodwill bins. We paid $1.18 for it and it sold for $8.99. That was our full asking price. Next up was a vintage 12 ounce, it was empty, <laughs> barrel of beer brown glass bottle. It was from 1973. This was from the Joseph Huber Brewing Company. It was a really cool bottle. We got this one from a storage unit that we purchased where our cost of goods on that was just 28 cents. This bottle sold for $15.99. That was our full asking price and we got positive feedback on it. Next up was a vintage 1984 Generation 1 My Little Pony. This one was the three inch blue baby ember. It was an exclusive mail order pony. We got this at an estate sale for 50 cents and this one sold for $14.99. Next up was a pair of the saltwater sandals. This one was the purple original style. These we got for $9.09 .09 per pair from the shoe liquidation purchase that I made. And this pair sold for $38.24. Next up was another pair of saltwater sandals. These were the white originals. These sold for $36.54. And like I said, I had paid $9.09 .09 per pair. We got positive feedback on these. Next up was an electric egg poacher by the brand Caloric. This was a stainless steel seven egg cooker. It was new in the package. We got this at an estate sale quite a long time ago. It took a while to sell. We paid $5 for this and it sold for $37.99. Next up was a Build-A-Bear workshop, one of the outfits that we got in that big treasure box of Build-A-Bear items. This was a two-piece Valentine's Day t-shirt and boxer set. They were both new with tags. We sold this for $17.18 on offer to buyer and we had paid just a dollar for it. Next up was another pair of the yellow Barbie shoes. We still have a lot of those to sell amazingly. That bag was stuffed full of them. This was a peep, pair of peep toe ankle strap pumps. We paid 61 cents for these at the Goodwill bins and this pair sold for $10.38 on offer to buyer. And we got positive feedback on those. Next up was a vintage pair of handmade crocheted baby booties. They did have stains on it. You'll see we just closed that right in the title. We got these from someone on Facebook Marketplace when we bought some vintage 1940s dolls. And this pair of booties was on one of the pair, one of the dolls. And so I have in our spreadsheet that the cost was zero because it was just an extra item that was on one of the dolls, which we already sold. This pair of booties sold for $8 even on best offer, and we did have them for a long time. I mean, they were stained, but they were very vintage booties. 
but and they were handmade so you know somebody eventually wanted them we they didn't take up any space and so we just left them listed next up was a hallmark madame alexander mary miniature doll it was in the case he was called mop top billy we got this out of one of the storage units that we purchased our cost was 28 cents and he sold for $10 even on best offer. Next up was a vintage Russell Athletic University of California at Santa Barbara vintage sweatshirt. It did have some staining on it, so you see in the title where we have read, we disclosed that. But vintage college sweatshirts can do very well, so if we see them, we try to pick them up. We got this at a garage sale for just a dollar, and it sold immediately for $24.68. Next up was a vintage Dyna buckle. It, said, it was solid bronze and it said Rocket on it. We got this at an estate sale for $5 and it sold for $20 even on best offer. Next up was a Logitech Disney High School Musical USB corded microphone for use with the High School Musical video game. We did not have, I don't know if we tested it and it worked or if we didn't have any way to test it. I can't remember. That information is not in the title and I actually didn't go into the listing to, to check. We had this forever. This is not something I would recommend picking up. We got this in the Goodwill bins. We paid 94 cents for it and it finally, we finally got an offer on it. And I was like, as long as we're making profit on it, I will take it. The offer was for $8.98. We did the math. We still made a profit of $1.22 on that sale, and so we took it. And that profit was made even after, um, you're probably wondering like how it's possible to make that profit, but with free shipping, but we did. We had only a cost of $0.94. Cents. Our cost of goods was $0.94, cents, and then we took out the shipping. We probably put it in like wrapped it up in foam and put it in a padded envelope or, you know, maybe some kind of lightweight box. And then with the eBay fees and shipping, taking out cost of goods, we still made a profit of $1.22 and we got rid of it. And then it also didn't go to the landfill. So that kind of thing makes me happy. But yeah, we were really ready to get rid of that item. Don't pick up those high school musical microphones. They do not sell. Next up was two antique 1849 German hardcover opera books. They were music books. We got a lot of these vintage German music books at a estate sale and they had a bunch of those German books and I think the first day that they had them they were really really overpriced and we got there on day four we got everything for 75% off. We paid only 56 cents for them and these sold for $42.78. We got positive feedback for them. At this time I'd like to pause for a moment and invite you to subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. It's the number one thing that you can do to support us and lets YouTube know that we have content that other people might enjoy and really helps out our channel. While you're there, make sure you hit that like button and we would really appreciate that. Let's move on. The next thing up is a 2021 Even Flow Revolve 360 all-in-one car seat owner's manual only. And like I've said in previous videos, owner's manuals surprisingly sell for all kinds of different items, for tools, electronics, car seats. If we come to own a, a manual from purchasing a storage unit or we see them at a garage sale, and a lot of times we can just get them for free at garage sales, or they're in like a big bulk lot purchase that we make from something else, like a big bulk lot of equipment that we purchase at a garage sale. Sometimes there's just random manuals in there. We always list those manuals because they surprisingly sell and they don't take up any space in our inventory and people are sometimes looking for manuals. We may have the only one of that manual listed. So when somebody comes looking for it, we have the one that sells. I don't understand what it is about manuals that makes them sell, but they do. So just something to think about. This one we got out of a storage auction where our cost of goods was 28 cents and we sold this manual for $9.99. Worth it in my opinion. Next up was a JVC Averio camcorder. We had the case, we had the batteries, cords, we had everything that went with it, the manuals, we had the whole package. We tested it and it worked. 
We got this at a garage sale for $10 and it sold immediately for $89.99, which was our full asking price minus a, um, that included a electronics discount that we were running this month. We got positive feedback on that. Next up was a vintage women's beauty control spray bottle of perfume, actually two of them. We sold, we had two of these and we sold both of them to the same person. So it was this beauty control spray perfume and it was new without box. It was brand new, unused perfume. Don't sell used perfume on eBay. They will not allow it anymore. Even in the collectibles category, they will not allow it. So only new perfume. This one had never been sprayed before. So we listed it as new without box. I wasn't sure if it originally came with the box, but the perfume was definitely new. You could just tell that it was brand new. We got this gifted to us from a family member, so we had no cost associated with it. And someone came along and purchased both of them for a total cost of $69.98. We got positive feedback on that. Next up was a Lego Dimensions Xbox One game. It also had the game portal that plugs into the Xbox console. And then it had some of the Legos that went with it. It was not complete. You'll see that we say right in the title, incomplete. We got this at a garage sale, the same garage sale where we got the American Girl doll from last week. And if you can find this game, because we've also found this game, this game will sell separate from the portal and everything. And even the portal will sell separate from the game. So this is something to be on the lookout for. Just all the different parts and pieces of this are valuable as separate pieces or as a unit. We paid $7 for this at the garage sale and it sold very, very quickly for $43.98. I had a really hard time pricing this because we didn't have a complete unit. I think I probably could have gotten more, but the fact that it moved so quickly and we made such good profit on it in such a short period of time, I was still happy with that, but I may have undersold it a little bit. Next up was the other pickleball paddle that we picked up. This one was a Wolf Sports edgeless carbon fiber pickleball paddle. It had flaws also. It needed to be regripped. I had mentioned that the other one had already been regripped. This one needed to be regripped. The grip was like disintegrating. Um, so we disclosed that and we had paid three dollars for this one also at the garage sale and it sold immediately for $25 best offer. Next up was a 2018 McDonald's Happy Meal National Geographic toy. This one was the Red Panda. It was new in the package. We've picked up several of these McDonald's National Geographic toys. They're really cute little plush toys and all of them have always sold. So some of them kind of took a while to sell, but they always eventually sell. Not for like a lot of profit, but people always pick them up. So if we ever see these National Geographic ones, we definitely pick these up. We definitely don't pick up all McDonald's toys, but some of them we've just learned move quickly. The um, Mario Brothers movies one seemed to move quickly, but that just may be a timing thing since that's a new movie. Uh, so this one we got at an estate sale. We paid $2, which is pretty high, but we knew this one would move. And it sold for $10.99, which was our full asking price. Next up was one of the fantasy novelty $100,000 Civil War bills. Um, I still don't really know what the story is on these, but we found a big stack of them in the other business that we own. So we had no cost with them and we've sold out almost all of them. I think we have two left. This one sold for $7.98 on offer to buyer and we got positive feedback on it. Next up was another good sale where we sold two items to the same person. We had two 3XL men's Callaway blue OptiDry performance polo shirts. We had gotten both of these at a thrift store. They were the exact same shirt. We had paid in total $7.50 for both of them, and somebody came along and bought both of them from us for $65.98. And so that was a really good sale, and we got rid of two items at the same time. Next up was a vintage 1990s first edition Cabbage Patch Kid doll. She was really unique looking. She had bright red hair and freckles. We got her at a thrift store for $2.16 and she sold for $27.68 on offer to buyer. Next up was a lot of two Creative Kids craft kits. 
These were the stick and style mosaics and my own paper doll. These actually belonged to my daughter. She just never used them as a child. We listed them and they sold for $7.48. I'm sure these were something I picked up at the dollar store or maybe they were given to her by her grandparents, who knows. But I don't have any cost in our spreadsheet because I have no idea. Next up was a seven piece lot of infant boys clothes, 18 month size. We got these out of one of the storage units that we purchased and our cost of goods on these was 23 cents. This one sold for $21.99. That was our full asking price and we got positive feedback on it. Next up was a pack, a six pack of tournament choice billiards stick Q chalk. We got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and it sold for $9 even. It was brand new in the package. We got positive feedback on that. Next up was an Ikea Lustic. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but it was a really cute toy or a game. It was a wooden prize wheel game and it was new in the box. It had never been put together, brand new, not sealed, but we could tell all the parts and pieces had never been put together. So it was new. We found this at a thrift store for $9.73 and it sold immediately for a best offer of $65. So if you ever see one of these, I don't, I don't know about used, but if you ever see one of these new, this, these sell, I noticed it had a really good sell through. Next up was a one and a half inch Eiffel Tower brooch. Um, we got this out of one of the storage units for 28 cents and it sold for $9.68 on offer to buyer. Next up was one of the swimsuits from the Via Trading Box that we got. This one was the Bukota 4XL Mermaid Swim Dress. We had two of these and they both sold. This one sold for $30 even on best offer. Last up was a Chet Baker Live at Buffalo new sealed cassette. This was a harder to find cassette and eventually sold on best offer for $41. We had paid just 13 cents for that at a thrift store. There are some cassettes that are harder to find that will sell for high. Most of them do not sell for that much, but you know, if you are looking through them and you find some sealed ones, it might be worth looking up. This one sold for a lot. This one was worth it. Last but not least, I'll go over all of the collectible cards that sold this week. Once again, we only sold low value cards. This week we sold three low value cards for a total dollar amount of $10.57. When I say low value cards, I mean cards valued at $10 or under. So let's go over all of the totals. This week we sold 34 items total, 34 sales total, for an average sale price of $26.14. Our sales totaled $888.71, and that made for a net profit of $502.25. So that was a little bit better than last week, but we are still not doing great. This summer has, you know, just been a typical summer, so we are just hoping to keep plugging along, make it to fourth quarter, or maybe something great will happen <laughs> as the summer goes along and we'll see like a big spike in sales. But let us know in the comments below what your favorite item was that we sold this week. And let us know how your sales are doing and how you're combating summer slowdown. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this content and you want to see more content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. If you think somebody else might enjoy this video, we would love it if you would share this video out with one of your friends as well. Well, thanks so much for watching and we will catch you guys on the flip side.